I mean, yeah. it is a bit weird talking about a competition that's that nine months away. But um, I suppose for you seeing the draft on Sunday, the opportunity to play for your hometown team is a bit of a relief. Exciting. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it was it was brilliant to watch. Um, uh, you know, especially for the first one ever um, in England. I thought the way it was put together was was brilliant to watch, and it was it was awesome. So, and obviously topped it off to to play at my home ground as well. Yeah, I mean, and your thoughts, your initial thoughts on the um the squad that's been put together because you you talked to a few media, you talked to well, the bookies have put you guys as one of the favourites. So it looks fairly <laughs> strong, doesn't it? Yeah, I think our, our bowling attack is you know it's just, it's pretty strong. Um, you also got some good power hitters as well in that team, um, and it's, it's you know it's, it's brilliant to play in a squad. Well, and also in a tournament that has got so many high profile players, is which you don't always get. Um, in the blast sometimes, but I think this this hundred ball is showing the amount of quality overseas players in it. The the standard's going to be very very good. Yeah, I mean, there's there's been a lot of talk of pace within the Southern Brave team, but you, I mean, you've got yourself and you've got Shadab Khan there, which you know we've seen how valuable spinners in these shorter formats as well. I just, just from your perspective, how are you guys like you know pinging it down there at ninety odd miles an hour, and then you guys come on and is that helpful? To have pace all around you, and then you guys sort of come on and do your thing as well. Oh, I think I think if you look at the history, you know, at the Aegis Bowl over the years, spin has done very well. Yeah. Um, not only just wrist spin, but finger spin as well. So obviously the boundaries are, are a good size to bowl to. Um, as I said, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually a very nice place to bowl spin. So obviously been lucky to play there. Um, as I said, hopefully me and Shadab can, can form a good partnership, you know, in those middle overs um, and. Put us into some good positions as a team for you know for the back end with our with our death bowlers that we have as well. Yeah, you've got plenty of options on that front. I mean, I talked to I just talked to Chris Jordan actually, and uh, talking about death bowling. There's also the opportunity in the hundred for bowls to bowl ten balls. Now, I don't think too many of the quicks are too interested in bowling ten balls on the trot. <laughs> um, but from a spin, can you see spinners bowling ten balls in a row if you get the matchups right somewhere through the middle overs there? I think potentially at, at some grounds, um, you know, maybe maybe you know at, at, at the GS Bowl that could work due to obviously the size of the boundaries, yeah. um, and potentially maybe Old Trafford as well. Um, but obviously the smaller grounds, probably it all depends on how the game's going. Um, you know, if, if the wicket might be spinning, obviously you can might bank on bowling your ten balls of spin. But I think a lot of it's going to depend on conditions, depend on how the game's going, and. I think it's, it'll take a, a very brave captain to, to decide who's going to bowl that, you know, what bowler's going to bowl those 10 balls in, in a situation of a game, so it could be huge. That, that's going to be interesting to see how the tactics with the competition develop, aren't they? Because there's no right way of doing it at the moment, is there? And it may be that 10 balls in a row with matchups and the way that T20 works or the short formats work, <laughs> that it is quite a useful thing, but I suppose it's a, it's a suck it and see at the moment. I think every every team, every captain, every coach is is gonna have their own theory, um, and some might even even just see how it plays out and, and decide on the day and on as I said on the situation of the game, who's been the best bowler. And they might chuck the ball to them and say, "Here goes your ten balls." But as I said, I don't think anybody knows at the minute, and I think that's it's quite exciting to see how tactically um, captains do use it. I know you, you said obviously the AGS ball is good for spinners, and there's obviously the the fast bowls that have been picked there for the team. Do you ever have some sort of rivalry with the quicks? I, I, I don't know. I'm throwing this one out there. Like, you know, they, those guys are expected to come in there and sort of tear the heads off some batsmen. Are you guys sort of, you, do you sort of like take some pride in the fact that spinners are, you know, an, an extremely valuable commodity in these short formats? Uh, not, no, not really. I mean, I think sometimes potentially, our, you know, with our seam attack, I think it could make our spin... Um, you know, a little bit stronger because they might try and attack us a bit more, and, yeah. and that's how we might get a wicket. So that that could be a positive for us. Um, but as I said, I think yeah, I'm not. There's there's some very good spinners in that competition, especially root spinners. So it's not only you know it's not only at our ground that, um, that has that, but as I said, it's it's exciting to play in a tournament with such good names. Yeah, I mean you, you're obviously part of the World Cup squad this summer as well, and you saw what it did for the nation, the way it engaged fans. Does this feel like the right time to bring in a tournament like the 100 where that engagement with fans with the best versus best as the World Cup was, um, it just feels like the right time to go into that? I know it's still nine months away, but 
you know, going into next summer, it, it feels like an exciting period for the game, doesn't it? I think, yeah, I think if the way cricket's gone in the last sort of year, um, I think cricket is in is in a fantastic position. Um, you know, everybody's talking about it. You know, it's always on TV. Um, and after the World Cup, you know, if you go to all the parks, um, loads of kids were playing it as well. So I think that's a brilliant, that's brilliant for the country. It's brilliant for the game. Um, and I think, as you said, it's a perfect time now to to introduce the hundred to everyone else, um, especially the younger the younger people and hopefully they can get into it and, and enjoy it because um, I think it will be a huge success. And Hampshire's obviously had a good record in white ball cricket down there at the GS Bowl and we saw um, a few of the other guys from the team go out to the London clubs, Mason Crane and Kyle Abbott went to the Spirit and Riley and, and Chris Wood went to the Oval. Will, will it be interesting playing against those guys during the tournament, seeing them on the other side? Uh, oh, a little bit, I think. But I think players now are so used to playing franchise cricket Um you know, you play in so many teams with with your mates, and you're playing against your mates. So, I think when the competition comes around, I think it, you know you're going you're to perform for your team, and you want to you want to do well for your team. So it doesn't matter who you're playing against; it's just you've got to do your job on the day, and hopefully win the game for your team. How, how excited are you, Liam, about this this tournament? I mean, it's it's a big, you know, we've seen some huge names put their names up for the tournament. How exciting is it to to see this come to England? We know the blast has been great, but this is sort of a step up again I do yeah I think it's amazing I think as I said before the calibre of player that have put themselves in for the tournament and for the you know for a lot of them to be available for the whole tournament every single game is going to be exciting to watch um, and also it's it's you know if, if you want to if you want to watch sport you want to watch the best players playing and also the best overseas as well and I think this is exactly what the competition gives and you know, if I was a fan, I would love to go and watch the players that are going to be playing in it. Yeah, there should be plenty of entertainment. Just go back to the draft for a second. Where, where did you watch it? Were you uh, were you nervous? Like, what, what's the feeling? I mean, it's something completely different for a cricketer, isn't it? Yeah, very nervous. I think, you know, most, well, I think every player would have been nervous. I think it's a natural thing because there's so many good players out there and there's a lot of good players that didn't get picked up as well. So, um, yeah, I was nervous. Um, I was hoping to get picked up and wasn't sure where I was going to play. Um, but when I got picked up, I was I was very very happy and excited. It's a dream scenario, though, isn't it? To be uh, to be on your home at GS Bowl and playing, you know, with the likes of Vincey and and a couple of the other blokes. There's a lot of there's a lot of local talent actually with the team, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. Um, as I said, it's it's nice to play with Vincey again. Um, we've, we've grown up together, so that'll be exciting to start sort of a new competition with him in a in a new in a new team. Um, as I said, yeah, we've got some very good players and I'm extremely excited to be involved in the, in the Southern Brave team. 